Hello friends, today I want to read to you the first chapter of The Astounding Broccoli Boy by Frank Cottrell Boyce. Chapter 1. While the city sleeps, an unknown hero watches over it from his lonely outpost on the rooftops. Every story has a hero. All you have to do is make sure it's you. On my first night in Woolpit Royal Teaching Hospital, I thought my chance had come. The boy in the next bed sleepwalked, hands straight down by his hot side, head held high like a piece of spooky Playmobil. He sleepwalked right up to the ward door, which is locked with the security code. I didn't want to bother the night nurse, so I followed him. He typed some numbers into the keypad. The door opened and off he went along the empty hospital corridors through a can staff canteen where I was distracted by cheese and out of the fire door. I thought we'd walked onto the street. I'd forgotten we were 12 floors up. We were standing in the doorway of kind of a hut thing up on the hospital roof. Miles below, the city twinkled like a massive Christmas tree. The boy did the spooky Playmobil right to the edge of the roof. One more step and splat. He would be a splodge of jam on the pavement hundreds of feet below. I thought about shouting his name, but what if he woke up, got scared, and fell? His name, by the way, was Tommy Lee Comiskey, though everyone called him Grim Comiskey, and mine is Rory Rooney. We were in the same class at school. He was the biggest and meanest. I was the smallest and weakest. I could tell you stories about the times he squashed my sandwiches, the times he threw my bag off the back of the bus, the times he threw me off the bus, but... I wasn't thinking about that now. I was thinking, this is it. This is 100% my chance to be a hero. All I had to do is save his life. As long as he doesn't take another step, it'll be easy. There was a flash of lightning. He flinched, I blinked. There was a rumble of thunder. He took another step, then Grim Kaminsky fell off the roof. <laughs>